Hey guys, it's Shara here from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm sharing a fun scrap wood project that I made a while back. This fun X design cutting board is an easy project that combines a few of my favorite woods, cherry, maple, and walnut. And while the X design may be a little controversial due to the possibility of wood movement, this is just a scrap wood cutting board, so if it eventually fails, it's not a big loss. Chances are, though, it'll still function just fine for cutting apples and cheese, even if it splits a little, so I don't mind. So to start this project, I shopped around my workshop to see what boards I could use. I had some thin strips of walnut, a maple board, and some cherry, so I decided to combine them into this unique design. By the way, I've got the link to the step-by-step -step tutorial for this project in the description below, so be sure to head over to the blog to check it out. Now, let's get to the build. To make for a cleaner glue up, I squared the edges of my maple board on the table saw and then took it over to the miter saw to cut it into four equal pieces. This will be the main part of the board. I glued these four pieces up like shown and clamped making sure to keep everything nice and flat. And here's a great time to shamelessly ask that if you like this video that you'd hit that like button below and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe so you don't miss out on all the latest project and videos. Okay, now back to the project. While the glue dried on the maple board, I moved on to cutting my walnut and cherry pieces. I ripped four thin strips of cherry the same width as my two walnut pieces I already had in the scrap pile. Then I laid out the design on the maple board to see how it would look and make sure that my pieces were long enough. I took a chance and thought that it looked kind of decent, so I went ahead with starting cutting. I trimmed the ends of the maple board nice and flush and then used a straight edge to draw the line across one diagonal. I used my Craig AccuCut and circular saw to cut along this line. Then I placed my walnut and cherry boards in the diagonal so that the walnut was sandwiched between the cherry and glued it up. The biggest thing to make sure of when gluing this up is that you keep the maple boards lined up straight. This will lengthen the board a little bit as it's glued up. You'll notice that the X doesn't intersect exactly in the middle here on this cutting board and that's because of the way that I cut the diagonals. I cut them separately instead of cutting them at the same time and that's why they got a little bit offset. I kind of like that design, but if you didn't want that, you could cut both diagonals at the same time at this point. After the glue dried, I removed the clamps and drew another line across the opposite diagonal and cut again using my AccuCut and circular saw. This is where my X's didn't line up. If I had cut both of these diagonals at once before gluing in any of the cherry or walnut pieces, my X's would have lined up much better. But I'm not real picky, so I was totally fine with it. I think that the offset X's kind of make for a cool design, but that's just me. Once I had this diagonal cut, I glued the cherry and walnut boards again along this diagonal and clamped up making sure to keep the maple boards lined up straight. After this final glue up was dry, I removed the clamps and used a speed square to draw lines along the corners to cut them off clean. This is just a personal preference, but I just kind of like the look of a shorter board and smaller corners. I used my circular saw to trim the corners, then took it to the miter saw to trim down the length. Once everything was cut down, I gave it a good sanding to remove any glue squeeze out and to get the board nice and flat. Lastly, I used my router and a chamfer bit to cut a chamfered edge along the top and the bottom of the board. Again, this is just personal preference, but I really liked removing these sharp corners. I finished the board with a mineral fusion beeswax finish on both sides of the board. It was a good food safe finish so that I can use this for its actual purpose as a cutting board or a serving tray. 
I really like how this design turned out, even if the X doesn't line up perfectly in the middle. I'll just pretend that I totally meant to do that and think of it as a new design idea. Either way, this project is really fun to create and makes a great cutting board or a serving platter. The best part is that it came straight out of the scrap bin. So if you need a great project to make a dent in your scrap pile, I hope you'll give this one a try and head over to the link in the description below for the details in a step-by-step -step tutorial and be sure to like this video. And if you aren't already subscribed, I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on the latest videos. But enough for now, thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy building.